Hi, Naki Braga from Geomancer Permaculture here at the Lancaster Botanical Gardens in Cartago, Costa Rica, where I've just completed a series of infiltration basins intended to help manage stormwater on site, which you can see here behind me. Now, I'd like to take you through a couple videos and show you a few elements of this system as it's raining quite hard right now and this would be a good time for you to see it. I'm sorry that I have to yell a little bit, but it really is raining quite hard right now. Behind me you can see the head wall, which is the source of the storm water that's been causing so much erosion further downhill in the forest. And I'm right here at the first basin that I dug. I've already posted several photos of it, but now you can really see it in action. Now, the job of this basin is more just to slow the water down. I did put some wooden stakes in it and so forth to help with infiltration, but I don't expect it to be doing too much infiltration. You can see the water's coming in very quickly, but the basin is doing a pretty good job of slowing it down before it goes further downhill. Let's take a look at the second basin, which you can see directly behind me here. Like the first one, this one is mostly functioning just to slow the water down as it moves downhill. And as you can see, I've used a fairly natural channel design of alternating pools and riffles. Now a riffle is just an area of fairly fast moving, shallow water, and it's usually where you have your greatest loss of elevation over distance, which is why I've protected the channel with all these river rocks. Now I do want to show you one thing which has happened in this design. We are a little bit off of peak flow right now because it was getting a little too rainy, but you can see that the water has found its way around my intended channel. Now this is why it's always a good idea to check your designs in real life in real rain, and I'm just going to have to come back here and put in some more rocks to alter this a little bit and protect the soil more in that area third and final basin, which is the largest one by volume, and it's the one that I really expect to be able to catch that water, hold it, and let it get down into the soil so that it can't continue on downhill and cause erosion in the forest below. As you can see, the water behind me is coming down through another armored channel with all those river rocks, and it's actually not getting any further downhill. So this basin is doing a really great job of infiltrating right now and the mosquitoes are starting to come out so I'm gonna get out of here but this looks like a pretty good design. 